Welcome back to Dial H for Hero Clicks. This is episode 251. I'm your host, Chris Britton, so let's go. Dial H for Hero Clicks is brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com, where you can find cool stuff in stock every day, including all of your latest Hero Clicks singles and sealed products. So check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Joining me in the studio again this week is my sexy ranch hand co host, Calder Ness. What's going on, Calder? Howdy, howdy. Let's get rowdy. Let's. Wait, hold on. Calder, you have a, you have a cold or something? You sound a little off, man. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. 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 All right, good. all right, all right, all right, all right. Well, uh, normally here on Dial H, we like to start us off with what made us happy this week. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start us off this week with, uh, you know, that I've been packing up half my house, moving and stuff, but I did have a chance to sit down, relax a little bit, and uh, I'm a huge, avid fan of Moon Knight, so I got to sit down and read some Moon Knight. Uh, this Max, I think it's like Bemis or Bemis is his last name, run on Moon Knight pretty legit so i'm looking forward to continuing that but enough about me calder what happened to you this week all right i told you last week that the pizone is back so i like i just took the week off i did nothing but ate taco bell and pizones and i just you know laid on my couch you i i, I did some work on my cosplay but I, I just just ate Pizzones at Taco Bell all week. I didn't even go work out. That's weird that you didn't even go work out. Yeah, I'm, I bet if you ate I, only Pizzones and Taco Bell all week, you spent probably quite a bit of time in the bathroom. I, I gained five pounds and then lost it immediately. I mean, I didn't want to say anything out loud, but I can tell in your pictures. Yeah, but <laughs> I told you, man, Pizzones is like the, the best thing ever. Okay, all right. Well, I'm glad that you enjoyed your Pizones throughout the week, but uh, we're not here to talk about the Pizones. We're here to talk about Hero Clicks and other nerd-related information, so let's jump into the news section. We sold out. Did we? Yeah, that's what happened. Yeah. Oh. I thought... Uh, I thought you knew that. No, I didn't know. This is news to me, actually. Did they sold out? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I got a sell big, out, please? I, and I do mean a big, a big bucket of money from WizKids. Oh, we big bucket money of money from WizKids, WizKids now. They were like, yeah, they were like, Dial H, y'all are the best ever. <laughs> we want you to have this Regenesis preview. Oh, do tell. Yes. Again, this is why I do this. I'm I'm the head of this thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, we have Jamie Madrox. All right. And uh, it's, he's really cool. He has the X Factor keyword, Jean Grey school and detective keyword, 50 points, X-Men team ability. Uh, he's three clicks. All his clicks are pretty much the same, except something really in particular. So he has eight move sidestep, nine attack, 17 defense toughness, three damage on his first click. And he pretty much has those same stats on the rest of his clicks, except he has stop click uh, toughness on defense. OK, so he has two traits. His first trait says at the beginning of the turn, pick one, generate a Jamie Madrox bystander or generate a detective token. And then his second trait says, free, remove a detective token. This character and every friendly bystander named Jamie Madrox can use perplex, probability control, or outwit. I I, I think that's that's going to be great. I'm looking forward to Regenesis. And I'm also looking forward to uh, cashing that check they gave us. Oh, see, that actually seems like a really awesome hero click. I got a couple uh, questions, though, about it because I, yeah. se- I hadn't seen that before now. Uh, yeah. wh- what's the banner color on it? Is it, uh, is it Jean Grey or is it uh, Utopia? It's uh, Jean Grey School. 
Oh, right on, right on, man. That's Jean Grey School. That sounds good. How much? Jamie Badrox was on 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 Wolverine side, didn't you know? I, it's been a while since I read that, but I'll have to go back and read it in anticipation for Regenesis. That was a sweet storyline, if that's, I remember correctly, but I don't remember it. That's, that's why I'm a bigger nerd than you. I guess so. But hey, what side are you gonna play? Like, if you get if you had a choice in the Regenesis event, if you had to pick Utopia or uh, Jean Grey School, which one would you choose? Uh, you know, I am picking Jean Grey School because, you know, I like to model myself after Wolverine, except I like to shave. You like to shave? I didn't think you could I like facial hats. hair. You know, <laughs> I keep some things from you. Oh, yeah? Occasionally, the patches that come in, uh-huh. you know, I'm a Gillette man. You're a Gillette <laughs> Harry's Harry's razor. That's I'm a Harry's man. I'm a Harry's man. Uh, but you and I, we we're constantly constantly fighting. I constantly threaten you that I'm going to beat you in Roblox. So I, I had another question. Why why is it you never actually want to face me in Roblox, Calder? Uh, you know I can't beat you in Roblox because I don't have any Roblox blocks. I think I don't have any Roblox. Looks. I think it's more than that, Calder. I think there's there's more to it. Why why are you so scared to face me in Roblox? Tell you the truth. Yeah. You're just better than me at it, and I know it. I, I You're think... just better than me at it. All right. <laughs> I'm I'm glad you're finally man enough to admit that, Calder. I'm I'm glad. Yeah. Let's move on, okay? <clears throat> I got, Wait, no, no, no. I, 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 I want one more thing from you. one more thing. We'll move on in in the podcast. Are there any uh, are there any other games that I am hands down better at you better than you at? That's a little far, man. But we already know it's Hero Clicks. It is Hero Clicks. I am better than you at Hero Clicks, Calder Ness. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. That's that's man. That's good that you could admit that though, man. I I appreciate yeah. that. That's that's yeah. Show some cojones. <laughs> I'm a big man. <laughs> big man. All right. Well. Hopefully people will take the information of that new Jamie Madrock Dial H selling out information. They'll take that yep. with them to their multiple local, man. Yeah, their their local gaming shop and tell everyone around you that you know that there's a new Jamie Madrox coming out. And you heard it first here on Dial H. Dial H sponsored by WizKids Inc. <laughs> yeah, we sold out. <laughs> okay, well even if we didn't sell out, <clears throat> if we, we did two WizKids, which we totally did. That was totally a thing that happened. Uh, we should let you know that Dial H works off the value for value model, and our goal is to entertain you guys and gals. So if you feel like you, we give you value in your life, maybe a couple of laughs a week or something like that, that's some value in some people's lives. You can consider showing us your love and leveling up your heroic rank, and you can earn your heroic titles like Citizen Vigilante or Protagonist. Remember, we changed it, so the level ranking up ceremonies are going to be the second episode of every month, not the first episode, the second episode. So jump on that. Yeah. If, if, if you want to, uh, we would greatly appreciate that. But let's get now into the community section. There are dozens of us. Dozens! Now, you know how we do on uh, Facebook and on Twitter every Tuesday. We put a community Tuesdays question up. Uh, this week it was with the X-Men animated set bringing back Colossal Boosters. Are you excited for them? Or was Avengers Infinity enough? What do you think, Calder? Are you excited for the Colossals? Or you just, you're like, I've, I've had too much of that extremely meta Red Hulk in my life. I, Chris, you know, all right, all right. I'm, I'm going to let you know definitively that I am ready for more Colossals. I told you last week I want to be able to call in Iceman Colossal Retail off an ID card, and I want to be able to call in two of them. I want those giant Icemans in my life right now. That actually is going to be really sweet. I'm not going to lie. Um, we're not the, uh, you're not the only one that thinks that. I, I am a huge fan of Colossals, as I have said numerous times over the years. I just can't wait to see what they do. Um, there was somebody online I saw ask the question, like, are there going to be enough colossal figures that they can make from the animated series? Well, don't don't fret, young Padawans. They are definitely putting additional 2 by 2s in there that are not from the animated series, so that was kind of already shown to be true with that Iceman 
that is definitely not from the animated series. That is from the Wolverine and the X-Men uh, comic books. So uh, don't worry about it. They're just going to fill it out with random people. Um, yeah. So pretty excited. Plus, there's, there's always more Sentinels. Oh, there's yeah, yeah. There's always more Sentinels. Man, there's a lot Sentinels. Of, a lot of people yes. out there that love the Sentinels so much, and they're so excited to get more Sentinels. And I couldn't be more happy for them. Like, that sounds pretty awesome. So, I know Lucas Van Hollen is happy for Sentinels. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, we so the, we put it up as a poll. We're not going to read through a bunch of the answers on uh, the Twitter and the Facebook, but I will let you know that out of the looks like 52 votes that we got on Twitter, 73% said bring them back. Only 27% of the people said miss me with that. We don't want more Sentinels in our lives. What did it look like over on the Facebooks? On the Facebooks, my friend, uh, it, it was really good. It was uh, it was an interesting result that I, I bet you couldn't guess what happened. Was it I bet remotely the same as what I had? <laughs> sort of. It, it, it's it, yeah, it, it was. <laughs> uh, yeah. Twenty nine percent said miss me with that. And seventy one percent said bring it on. I mean, Bring I'm, it okay all. With it. I'm okay with it. Hey, if you had to make any one colossal that we haven't seen spoiled for this set, what would you make? Uh, you know. Uh, to epitomize my my athletic and model nature, yeah, I would make a colossal strong, a giant strong guy, giant, giant strong, strong guy. guy. Hey, that makes sense. X factor for life. If anyone out there does not know, Mondo gets bigger the more damage he takes, right? Like, or the more angry he kinetic gets. energy. Yeah, yeah, Connect yeah, energy. yeah, damage he takes. So he just keeps getting bigger and bigger. That's a good one. Um, I saw somebody online mention that they're like, do you think we could possibly see a two-by-two two juggernaut? And I'm like, why not? We had a two-by-two we had two two, by two hulks in Avengers Infinity. So I'm okay with there being a two-by-two two juggernaut. That'd be sweet. Yeah. Plus, it would be really cool if they made some kind of mechanic that allowed him to actually break two side-by-side -side pieces of blocking terrain as he moved through it, not just like one, you know? That'd be pretty cool. Like they changed the movement abilities for. It. Uh, yeah. So that would be pretty sweet. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you can go on uh, Twitter, onto Facebook, and read all of the wonderful answers we got if you feel like it. Uh, but let's move on. We we have a, a wonderful guy. He gives us the Hero Clicks tip of the week. His name is Jedi Legend. So let's go ahead and do that. Help you, I can. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Take you to your destination, I will. Jedi Legends Heroclix Tip of the Week says debris tokens are hindering terrain, but if you create them as you move, it won't impede that particular movement as they won't resolve until you complete the action, i.e. you complete the movement, then lay down the debris tokens after. I'm going to not lie. I forgot that was a thing for like the longest time because I've been playing Heroclix for a really long time now, and I don't think that was a rule back in the day. Uh, like in the original like starter set, Invi uh, Infinity Challenge starter set. And if you broke through a wall, you had to immediately stop, which really kind of sucked. So yeah. I'm glad they changed that. Have yeah. you ever, has this ever tripped you up? Do you ever forget about that and then accidentally stop in Debris Token? All, all the time. All the time. I, I, I can't tell you how many times that I had to remind myself that I can't stay in that wall I just broke, busted through until I finish with my moving with my colossal, like you know, you have to bust through the wall, move, destroy all the blocking, and then sidestep back. You know, you, you have to, you can't just do it immediately and just sit there. So, yeah, it, it, it gets me too. All right, all right. Well, hopefully that will help somebody out there uh, in Hero Clicks land. Maybe you won't fall for it like Calder and I clearly have. Uh, yeah, yeah. M moving on. We actually got a message on Facebook from a listener called Ron Walker, and yeah. which, which led us to ne know that we needed a new segment on the podcast. It's called Rules Lawyers. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely going to use that from now on as a soundboard. You're just having a lot of fun on the soundboard tonight. I just – I like it when I can use it. <laughs> yeah. He said, at my store I play at. There is a dispute on how Master Mold dial progression works at 1,500 points. I say, quote, as his card states, end quote, 700, then 200, then 600. Two people are saying you run through the 700 and 200 dials twice, then 600 dial, or if ran at 700 point, he never dies. There is no KO click. 
I say there is a KO click just after the click, the number 20 click. It's a red line, and there's a tiny KO there. Has anyone played Master Mold before? If you can't, if you have, can you tell me how dial progression issued uh, or is supposed to be played at 1500 so I can school the two people? All right, so I'm just gonna let you know right now, Mr. Walker. These people are straight up lying to you. That is, they don't do maths well. They, that is not how the rules of Master Mold work. What they are saying. Um, if you go to the Master Mold card, I pulled it up in front of me. Uh, it says verbatim. Master Mold may be played individually or at 700, 600, or 200 point value. He may also be played at 900, and I'm going to throw these parentheses in there here in a second, uh, 900, 1300, or 1500 point value. Now, after each one of those subsequent point values, it tells you in parentheses exactly how to play it. So if he is played at 900, it says 700, then 200. 1300 says 700, then 600. And then the 1500 one says 700, then 200, then 600. It, I, I don't know how anyone could possibly read this as anything other than what it says on this card. So yeah. there's the answer. Um, I don't know what they were trying to get. Was this for a prize that they're like trying to just lie to you? Or what's going on there? Feel free to write in. But uh, do you have anything else to add to that, Calder? I feel like it was pretty self-explanatory. It is. And, and you know what happens is sometimes people just did not graduate middle school to do basic math. I don't know. <laughs> this is also true. Yeah. Or just basic yeah. reading comprehension. Uh, yeah. As far as if there's ever a situation where you do have a dial and there are no KO clicks on it, like if it is a 12-slot dial and it's all numbers, like we have seen with such characters as – Bizarro, um, though that may not be an applicable example for this, uh, but those kind of dials. When you pass the red line after click number 12, or in this case, click number 20, that is considered a KO. A red line on, on the end of a dial like that is supposed to represent the KO. So at no point is anyone just like completely invincible and can never die. I don't know why they would tell you that either, but 100% they die after click number 20. And I did look at it, and on two of Master Mold's three dials, he runs all the way to click number 20 before he gets KO'd. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. If, you, if you don't have anything else to add to that. You know, uh, no way's half the battle. Let's go. <laughs> Okay. Um, Let's go. I, I don't know if I have anything else. Do you have anything else in the community section, Calder? I don't think I do. Other than Master Mold is awesome. Master Mold is awesome. I uh, love him. He doesn't I have he, he doesn't have the Sentinel keyword, does he? No. I, I'm pretty sure he doesn't. Which is like so, like so stupid. It doesn't make any sense. But I'm pretty sure that the Sentinel keyword did not come out well, until well, really, after. Yeah, he doesn't have. <laughs> Which is sad. Ah, gotcha. Whisk is a master mold, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Change it. You're paying us apparently now. <laughs> so change it. Yeah. I don't think that's how you get to talk to your boss. Whatever. Uh, so if uh, I, I guess we should probably we could probably talk about this real quick while we're in the community section. Um, yeah. Calder, if there were any other YouTube channels or podcasts that you were to be going to listen to this week particularly uh which youtube channel or podcast would you like to listen to that are hero clicks related well you know when i'm sitting in 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 my little area making my cosplay crafts you could check me out on facebook if, if you haven't seen me do it uh i on occasion when i'm not live streaming listen to to starting over podcast and that guy Edward Shelton I meet him in tournaments and stuff he beats me all the time it's uh he got some good stuff there you know uh, I, I didn't want to really want to bring this up on the podcast uh but I guess while we're here and while we're talking about it I, was, uh, I just I'm just gonna just lay it all out there you off air call you have said many times it's just about like you're like I I just can't beat Edward Shelton, I don't know what to do. Can you give me tips because you are also better than me at HeroClicks? And, you know, I just – I try to give you tips, but it, you just 
I don't know what it is. I think Edward is just too good for even my tips. So uh, I don't know if you're ever going to beat him, Calder. I'm sorry. I, I, You know, I try. Sometimes the dice are with you. Sometimes they're not. That's a good attitude to have, man. Good attitude. To don't have. quit. Don't quit. Yeah, don't quit. We all need you around. We have too short, we have too small of a community in the in the Hero Clicks community as is. So stick around. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, thank you, Calder, <laughs> for another podcast. Yeah. Um, uh, we should I should let everyone know out there that uh, if you have a birthday coming up, uh, just let us know whose birthday it is. Maybe it's somebody in your local venue. Maybe it's yourself. Tell us when the birthday is. We'll give you a sexy Arabian. Happy birthday on the podcast. Uh, someone said, hey, can someone, uh, I think it was like, make Malcolm Rush start going to a venue so that he can claim his Dial H home base, which is still going on uh, over in Japan. I don't know. Maybe, Malcolm Rush, you want to start going to a local venue in Japan or make your own. And then you can claim. Malcolm Rush it. is the greatest international man of mystery of all time. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to lie. He does a good job on this podcast as well. Um, yeah. So if you are in a state or in a country and you want to claim a Dial H home base for your state or your country, just let us know where that venue is, and we'll give them a shout-out on the podcast as well. Uh, if you would like that sweet Dial H merch, which I have seen you rock, Calder, looks sweet, BT Dubs. Uh, you can jump on our Red Bull Bubble, and that, as always, is going to be in the podcast show notes. I saw those Phoenix Nest guys with jerseys, yeah, and they're just out there all the time with jerseys. I ride with Lucas Van Hollen all around to these events, and he's always wearing his jerseys. He's always talking about his jerseys. So you know what? I made my own jersey. Yeah, I yeah, made yeah. My own jersey. And those are good yeah, jerseys. jerseys. You, the, the, I mean, our jerseys are good. The Phoenix Nest jerseys look good. You can see them from all the way across the room. They're unmistakable. Uh, at any venue that I have ever been to, you can just like you just point them out because of freaking orange. high fashion. Yeah, high fashion. So rock the Dial H, uh, the the material that we're throwing out, or you can get a, like a sweet Dial H mug. That is also a thing that you can buy on uh, the Redbubble. So like I said, that's in there in the podcast show notes as always. Um, you can follow us. And jump on our Community Tuesdays question uh, on Facebook. That is just search for Dial H for Hero Clicks on Facebook. On Twitter, we are at Dial H for Hero Clicks. That is the number four. And you can send us an email from time to time. We get those at Gmail. Uh, that's Dial H for Gmail. Dial H for Hero Clicks at Gmail.com. There it is. Yeah. And uh, all right. That's all I believe that we have. So I'm going to go ahead and read us out. I'm, I'm going to steal it from you this week, Calder. I'm going to steal it from you. Uh, all right. <laughs> Dial H for Hero Clicks is brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com, where you can find cool stuff in stock every day, including all of your latest Hero Clicks singles and sealed products. So check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Bye, guys. Happy trails. My, 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 my,